Hi, Coach Tom here with Coach Elias. Today's subject, the slice backhand and all the uses that it has. Federer really used it well, didn't he? Oh, in, yeah. In Mixed it up really nicely. Yeah, yeah. You know, in that match, I think both of those guys were winners. It was, it was a great match. Federer actually won more points, right? He did. 13 yeah. more points, yeah. 13 more points ended up losing the match. But so Djokovic, unbelievable, under pressure. Great player. Um, but Federer uses that slice, and even a great player like Djokovic can get a little discombobulated when, when Federer pulls him in short there, skids the ball low to his backhand. And then he's got options. You know, he can lob, he can pass, whatever. So um, it's a good shot to have. So work on that slice. And remember, it's got so much disguise. You can go long with it. You can go deep with it. You can hit it short or short angle, or you could hit a drop shot. And the setup is exactly the same. You know, every time, you know, you're bringing that racket back high, so they don't know what you're going to do. So work on this shot and work on using this against players that love to run side to side. Exactly. Right? And Some, yeah, go ahead. Especially also against players that use a lot of topspin shots yeah. and that are mainly used to yeah. topspin game. Yeah. That slice is really going to put them under pressure because yes. they got to go nice and low with those new modern grips they have. Yes. A little bit more extreme. They got to push the ball under. And even for me, I use more of a topspin game and it's a more uncomfortable shot for me to hit over is if somebody slices, mixes up the rhythm. And that's a great shot to break rhythm against a good baseline player as, as well. Yeah. It's a great shot, especially if you're playing against a top spin player, more modding game. And you it's play really, a lot of Exactly, top. that's yeah. what I do. And it's even for me, if I play against somebody, it's put, it puts me in an uncomfortable position because now you can use the speed of your opponent, you gotta go low, and it's a great shot to mix it up and break the rhythm of your opponent. And like Tom said, keep uh, have him move in, yes. and then you have a lot of options. You're creating opportunities, yeah. And in addition to that, it can also generate a shorter, more middle ball. Because now those top spin players, they have to go nice and low. They might frame the ball, and you create a short ball for you, which you can attack, and you have successfully changed the pace and broke the rhythm of your opponent. Yeah, absolutely. So let's play a few points and we'll show you how this works. Okay, let's take a look here in slow motion. All right, I'm using the slice here. Notice the racket starts high. As I come down, I've just made contact with the ball. and Look how much lower the racket is here. And watch as I finish, the racket comes across. Okay, that's my finish. Now this ball stays nice and low. It skids pulls Elias into the net. Now, as he comes in, I can make the pass with a forehand cross court. Okay, again, racket starts high, comes down into the shot, ball stays low. It's a shorter slice, so Elias comes forward on this return. He's moving in. I hit the ball low at his feet. He hits a nice little tweener here. But now I've got an opportunity to pass him, and I go cross court with the pass. He was leaning towards the line. Okay, remember, slice is a great tool because you can disguise your shot. Remember to use the drop shot. So here I'm going to use a drop shot. Racket starts high, comes down and across. Move forward after you hit a drop shot. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Nice job, Elias. Thank you. You too, um, Tom.
That slice. Good shot, huh? Yes, great. Yeah. Great way to change it up for your opponent. Change up Mix the pace. it in. Mix it in. You know, variety is going to help your game so much. So work on the slice. All the best.